board leader Rilo Dinga. Let's get to other matters before we get back to that. President Uhuru Kenyatta is at the moment in Kibabi University in Bungoma County where he will grace the inaugural graduation ceremony. Uhuru rescheduled his visit to Western Kenya last week after he traveled to Marrakesh, Morocco to speak at the COP22 climate change conference as well as to lobby African leaders to support Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs Ambassador Amina Mohamed for the post of chairperson of the African Union Commission. The university was awarded its own charter last year by the president and previously it was a constituent college of Masinde Muliro University. The president later tore upon paper mills at Rebuye where he will inspect the factory ahead of its reopening. All right, and to get more details about President Uhuru Kenyatta's itinerary and the kind of reactions we are getting from Western Kenya towards this particular tour, let's join our reporter, Robert Wanyonyi from Bungoma. Good afternoon, Robert. Just uh, keep us up to speed with what's happened so far. Our own deans of faculties and schools present candidates for confirmment of bachelor's degrees. Okay, in thank you very much, uh, Studio. We are coming to you live from Kibabi University. Here is when the president has just completed his speech. Uh, he has been uh, officiating the official graduation ceremony for the first graduates at this university. And among the highlights that the president has said is uh, the university will now be given 300 million shillings to improve, improve on the infrastructure that is here, saying that there are so many issues that are still remaining pending, including uh, housing for the lecturers and also the student community. And the president has also talked about the government ensuring that the examinations are enhanced and security is enhanced, saying that uh, as we approach this year of elections 2017, many politicians are likely to uh, throng some universities, maybe to seek for some academic papers. And he has just instructed the Minister of Education, whose minister, uh, Dr. Fred Matiang, is already here, to ensure that that is not happening and saying that any university that will involve in such an issue where action will be taken against is because he says the standards are very high for those seeking elective posts and this will make maybe the universities to admit some students who will get some certificates that they, they do not merit. From here, uh, the president is expected to tour uh, Pan Paper Factory to see the progress of the factory. Uh, earlier on, it was reported that uh, the president might be officially opening Pan Paper Factory, but now it has come that uh, he will just be checking on the progress because the investor says uh, the works are still yet to be completed. So from here he's headed to Pan Paper Factory and after that uh, the president will be headed to uh, commission the Chuele Luahaha Road uh, which is uh, under construction to be tarmac and that will mark the end of the program for the president today. We'll keep it here continuing to cover the president's visit. Among the leaders who are here include uh, Ford Kenya leader Code Principal Moses Wetangula uh, local Your MPs Excellency, led by Wafla Wamunyini, Dr. Chris Wamalwa, and all other Bungoma MPs. Uh, also, Bungoma Governor Kenneth Lusaka is here with the, his entire cabinet and other leaders who are also here. Uh, from here, I'm Robert Wanyonyi, returning.